Ciao Vera Kunz and welcome to my vlog. And finally today I'm gonna make a new video for you guys so you will learn and we will enjoy to make a very simple food for today. And first of all, hindi po ako a professional chef or a very good baker but guys I will make my very best to you so you're gonna like it my videos and I hope you're gonna enjoy it so today I hope you're gonna bear with me to make a very simple and easy banana bread and if you're gonna like it guys please let me know it and if you have any suggestion or if you notice something that I do is doing is wrong please comment down below and let me know it okay so let's go in the kitchen and let's make banana bread let's go Okay guys, so we're here in the kitchen and let's see what we're gonna need to make the bread. Okay, let's see it. Okay, in this bread we need three very ripe banana. Whatever you have in the house na banana, just make sure it is very ripe. So, mas matamis siya, so magda less sugar tayo. And then here we got two cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of baking soda, and one tablespoon of cinnamon powder. Okay lang kung wala kayong cinnamon powder. It's okay. And here we got one cup of brown sugar half cup of milk kung wala rin kayong milk you can add just plain water and here is half cup of olive oil i use olive oil kung wala rin kayong olive oil you can use vegetables or vegetable oil or if you have a butter you can use the butter as well and here we're gonna use like a medium two eggs and in additional, you can add whatever you want. I like to add fruits. So I have a one fourth cup of peanuts, whatever peanuts you have in the house. And I use ciruela. I don't know in English, but I think it's prunes. Okay, I cut it in small bits like that. It's about half cup of prunes and we need some one tablespoon of vanilla extract or vanilla syrup and that's it guys let me know if what it's called in english and let's start it banana bread first we need to smash the banana okay kung wala kayong smasher okay lang gamitin ang fork it's easy and it's an exercise for your muscles. <laughs> smash it. Smash, smash, smash. So you know, the much better if your banana is very ripe, it will be easy to smash. And it's an uh, extra sweetness on your bread. Smash it. Okay, this is ready. Until wala na kayong makita ang malalaking saging. It's okay na. sugar and milk first we need the egg so we need two eggs one and 
Pizza. Habang binibig natin siya, pwede natin add yung sugar para malutaw. Let's mix it. Hanggang malusaw na yung ating sugar. Mix, mix, mix. and add our milk or kung tubig yung ginamit nyo okay lang sa water just to make sure we have a lot or we have enough liquid for our bread and then we mix it together okay. and let's mix our half cup of olive oil And I think it's ready. We can add our vanilla syrup, one tablespoon. Now we start to mix the dry ingredients to wet the ingredients. First, we get the banana. And let's mix our Eggs, egg mixture. Let's mix all together. Haluin lang natin siya, guys. Halo ng halo. Hanggang mag-combine silang lahat. Okay. I think this is perfect. And yung dry ingredients natin, kailangan din natin siyang haluin bago natin siya isalin sa ating wet ingredients. I normally put it on a wet ingredient batch by batch para hindi siya magkaroon ng lumps. So now, we can use this one. <laughs> Scrape it. That's the first batch. And most important thing, guys, we don't want to overbeat our butter kasi baka hindi siya umansa there you go guys kailangan hindi natin siya ma-overbeat kasi baka hindi siya umansa pag minuto natin so kailangan ganito lang siya they called it folding So, I add the flour batch by batch. Now, we're gonna add the second batch. Oops. Okay. Let's mix it. And habang ginagawa natin to, make sure your oven is preheated in 180 degrees. So, kung tapos na tayong haluin to, para ready na siya. And that's it. Let's mix. Mix, mix, mix. Let's mix it up. Mix it up. So I think it's ready, guys. It's ready to pop up in the oven. At kung wala kayong oven, guys, okay lang. You can use a steamer. You can bake it in a steamer or in the oven for 45 minutes. Or until it's cooked. 
I normally put some toothpick inside. Kung lumabas yung toothpick at it's dry, it means it cook. So let's put it in the oven. Now guys, we have to transfer our butter to get ready in the oven. Guys, kung wala kayong oven sa bahay, okay lang. Kasi pwede itong i-steam with the same time, 45 minutes. And you can check it after 40 minutes if it's cooked or not. And you can stay it longer. Hanggat hindi pa siya luto. So, that's it guys. It's ready now. So, we can put it in the oven. Let's see you in 45 minutes. Bye! And let's set the timer in 45 minutes. See you in 45 minutes, guys. Let's check it, guys, if it's cooked or not. Oh, it's clean now, so it means it's ready to put out. It's done now. Let's check how it goes. So guys, mga foodies, this is our bread for today and it's fresh from the oven as you can see it. It looks delicious, isn't it? Oh no, this is really good. Ang sarap niya guys. I hope you're gonna try it in your home. It's really good. Mm -hmm. If you have any suggestion, please let me know it and put it in my comment box below or you can send me a message. Then we will do it in my next vlog. This is really good in the coffee. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Please like it if you like my video for today and don't forget to subscribe and click the, not the notification about so you can notify if I upload new videos and I hope to see you try my banana bread because I'm already eat half of it so I hope you're gonna like it as well. Thank you for watching and see you in my next vlog. Bye!